welcome back to my channel. So today, again, we're in another setup. Don't mind me and all the million setups. And I have a massive light on me right now, so I might look a little blind. But yes, we're back with another video. Today, we're going to do something so fun. Um, it's the time of year that I'm most excited for, and I will explain why. So just keep watching, and we'll go into the video. Today's video is going to focus on my absolute favorite kind of self-care product and that's Lush Cosmetic Bath Bombs, but not just Lush Cosmetic Bath Bombs, we're going to be talking about some of the Christmas bath bombs that they bring out every single year. I am a former Lush employee, last year I worked there um, as like a seasonal employee and it was so 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 much fun. I worked with a great team in the location close to my house. I learned so much about the products in the company and overall was an amazing company to work for. That being said, Lush brings out uh, very special bath bombs and bath products every single Christmas time. Um, it's really, really fun. They're shaped and colored like amazingly. The scents are so crazy good. So I'm going to show you some of the ones that my amazing boyfriend gave me as a gift. And we will dive right into the video. Um, and we should also note that I do not like the Snow Fairy scent at Lush, so I do not have any Snow Fairy products. If you're a massive Snow Fairy fan, sorry, I hate that scent. I've left out anything Snow Fairy scented. Anyway, let's get into the video. As you can see, I have a massive box of goodies, and I'm so excited. I don't know where to begin. Ah, we're going to start with something new. Every single year, Lush brings back some kind of like... Christmas favorites that people love. But they also bring out new bath bombs, new scents, new everything as they spend the whole year making up new things for us, which is awesome. The new bath bomb that they got this year is, it's called Christmas Sweater 2017. It looks like this. It's so cute. I don't know if you can see guys, but it's got like two little reindeer in the center. Um, and the rest is all pink, but it's got these cute little reindeer, which, you know, very fitting for a Christmas sweater. You know, those ugly Christmas sweaters that have all the reindeers on them. The thing about Lush products is not, like two Lush products are not gonna look the same because they're handmade by different people. So you have to keep that in mind that what you see on the website or what you see on my video isn't exactly what you're gonna see in shops because every single one is, is you know, made by somebody different. So it'll look slightly different. <coughs> also, these are very heavily scented. So if you have a very sensitive nose, you might not like Lush products. But anyway, oh, this smells this reminds me of what my grandmother's house smelled like during Christmas time. What does it have in this? It has clove, lemon oil, cinnamon. It's a very spicy scent. Mm. Mm. The clove is amazing in this. Oh my god, it smells so good. Apparently it's supposed to make your bath water really pretty. So I definitely want to save some of these for once it gets a little bit colder outside because February or February. February? Oh my gosh. October is having a minute and it just wants to be warm and do its thing, so I'm gonna let it do, do its thing and hold on to my Christmas sweater bath bomb until it gets a little bit colder. Now the next thing that I'm picking up is something that I actually, that sold out really really quickly last year and I actually never got to try. When I was working at Lush, I did invest in a lot of the Christmas products and was able to try a lot of them out, but this was like a crowd favorite, fan favorite, and it was impossible to keep in stock. It's called the Shoot for the Stars bath bomb and Look how cool. This one's gonna be one of the messier ones to pull out because it does have glitter on it. And I'm wearing black pants. So it's this really pretty blue bath bomb. I don't know if you guys can see, there's like golden sparkly stars in it. Oh my god, what is in this? This has Brazilian orange, that's what really, and bergamot. So it's got that like spice of the bergamot or that kind of like sweet like boy smell, if you will. Um, of the bergamot and then it's got that Brazilian orange to really sweeten it up and it's got honey in it so it's going to be super so soothing on your skin. skin. All of them will be really soothing on your skin but like when they have um, ingredients such as honey in it it's going to be extra soothing and softening on your skin. Oh that honey in the Brazilian orange. That's so good. This one's fun because when you put it in your bathtub it'll fizz like this. Do you know what I mean? Like kind of like in swirls. And with the stars and the blue, it's supposed to look like the night sky in your bath. Like dark, dark navy blue, but with that like gold sparkly star kind of pattern or golden pattern within. So I think that's why it was a big fan favorite because not only does it smell awesome, but it also looks so cool in the bath. It's super Instagrammable. So I feel like everyone was picking these up for like their cool Instagram pics or Snapchat pics. I bet you a boomerang would be really fun of this. But yeah, no, this is, I didn't get to try this this year, so I actually bought two of these 
or I didn't buy two of these. I got I got one and then I bought another one online because I was like, ugh, I need two. You'll want to grab this before December because once December hits, these are going to be gone. Final one that I um, picked up by myself was another one that I missed out on last Christmas. I'm a massive fan of their bubble bars and their bubble wands because they're really easy to use and they're reusable. So you know how bath bombs like you throw in once and, and it's done, you use it in one bath? These um, are really cool invention because they are little, they're so cute. They're like little wands. This one's so sparkly. So it's a little star wand. It's got a little bell on it and it's got the little, um, ooh, I think, think these are like clove pieces on it. Wow. That smells amazing. And it's on a stick of cinnamon. Like that's a real cinnamon stick. So once this is actually all used up, you can toss the cinnamon stick in your bath as well and give you that like super warm bath. Oh, it's probably gonna be awesome, I can't wait. They're great because they're reusable. You just stick it under the running water and it creates bubbles. Like, you know, use your little magic wand under the running water and it creates bubbles in your tub. Um, once you get the amount of bubbles that you want, you kind of stick it to, your, to the side of the tub and let it dry out and you can use it a bunch of times. And I can get like, I don't even know, probably five or six baths out of these if you're like really not leaving it under the water too long because you honestly don't need to leave it under the water, the running water too long for it to work. But it's so beautiful. This one is called the Magic of Christmas um, Bubble Wand. And it's so fun. It has, let's see, I should know this. I'm sorry to all my Lushies that are following me that I worked with that are like, Lauren, why don't you know you, you knew this last year? So it's got almond oil in it. It's got orange oil in it. It's got cinnamon in it. It's got that like really, really sweet, like orangey almond scent. You know those like almond cookies that people make sometimes at Christmas? That's what it smells like, the almond cookies. But then you got that whiff of cinnamon, so it's spicy as well. And it also has the clove in it. So if you like the really spicy scents for Christmas, you will love this bubble bar or bubble wand, sorry. I so highly recommend the bubble bars or the bu and the bubble wands because they're reusable and they're a great gift idea. And again, this one sold out fast, so get it while it's in store. Now I'm gonna move on to what's actually in these little bags that my cute boyfriend picked out himself for me. I put them in the bags and had them all tied up. It was adorable. So, and he knows me very well. He knows I love my Lush. So he went and he got me everything basically that was in stores that was, oh, and there's a fly. He went, he went in stores for our anniversary. Um, this was my present from him. He went to the Lush store that was local to us and he asked them to give him every single Christmas bath product that they basically had, except good boy, there's no snow fairy in here because I do not like snow fairy. Let's just put this to the side again and I'll just pick some up and we can go with the flow. Ooh, what's this one? <gasps> this one's so cute. So I think I just broke him. Oh no, yeah, he lost an eye, sad. This is the little snowman bubble bar. Actually, I brought the book with me so I could tell you guys exactly what's in this. He is called the snowman and he lost an eye in my bed, but that's okay. And first of all, he's got a lot of lemon in him. Oh, so good. It's got that really lemony scent. Again, sorry I'm cheating looking at my notes right now, but I can't remember everything guys. It's been a while. He's just like a cute little snowman. So cute. The thing with these guys, the bubble bars, is you break them off and you crumble them into the water to get the bubbles so under the running water. You got like, honestly, again, you don't need that much of the bubble bar. I mean, if you want a lot of bubbles, use, use a good chunk. But it's going to be so sad to actually break him. I'll probably get like four or five baths again out of this, just kind of chopping him up even though he's so cute. I believe, don't quote me on this, I believe the little eyes and the buttons are actually vegan chocolate, which is kind of neat. And I will... Confirm. Yep, is vegan. So for anybody who's trying to be a little bit consci conscious about um, what they're using, you won't have an issue with it on your skin. Pack with shea butter so the, the actual bubbles are going to be super softening on your skin. And he's so cute. Like, how cute is that? These are handmade, so every snowman is going to look different, which is almost half the fun of picking them out. You can pick one that has a personality, maybe, of the person you're giving it to or yourself. Um, and that makes it really fun. So yeah, that was a snowman. There's Oh, it's a duplicate. So this is another sweater, sweater weather. Oh my God. Every time I say sweater weather in this video, I am sorry, Lush. This is another Christmas sweater bath bomb. I liked it so much. I had to pick up another one. What's this? It's like Christmas all over again. Is that, or Christmas. It's like me opening this all over again. One of my favorite bath bombs that comes all year round is Twilight. I really like lavender and it's like their signature lavender um, bath bomb. So this is their Christmas one. 
and look how pretty that is. This one's called Luxury Lush Pud. It is the exact same thing as Twilight. It's got lavender in it. So it's going to be super soothing. It's going to help you sleep. This is a great nighttime bath bomb. I sound like I'm trying to sell this to you now. I sound like a, my like old Lush employee is like coming back to me. <laughs> um, but this is one of my absolute favorite bath bombs. It makes the water super colorful. As you can see, it's got all the different colored little pieces in it, which makes your bath so fun. And it's just a great relaxing one. I think this is a super romantic bath bomb as well. So it's great to give to a significant other if they're into the bath. Ooh, that one was super chalky. Next one is, this is, oh, this one, this one is new this year. So this is called Christmas Eve. It is a bubble bar. Ooh, that smells so good. What is in this? This has, ooh, Jasmine and Ylang Ylang. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Just pronouncing that when I worked at Lush last year. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I'm saying that right. But yeah, Ylang Ylang. I think it's a flower. And Jasmine, so it's super... Again, that calming kind of scent, not as sweet as the lavender. Great for like, it's like, again, a very romantic smell. Ooh, I love that. And it's so pretty, guys. Like, look at that. Another great one to use before bed. Again, cut it into four. You'll get like four baths out of this. Ugh, the worst is when you see people using bubble bars as bath bombs and they toss the whole thing into the tub and you're like, oh, you just wasted a whole product that you could have cut into four and gotten so many bubbles out of. So this is another... Ooh, this is a bath melt. So I don't use bath melts that often, um, even though they're so good if you have really, really dry skin because they're really going to add that extra oil and extra nourishment to your skin while you're in the bath. This one is so sparkly. Look at that. It's so fun. It reminds me of like the star that you put on the top of your Christmas tree. Um, this one's called Starlight Star Bright. It says it's a multicolored marble scented with lime and ginger, and it reveals its true colors after the plastic-free luster melts away. I wonder what color this is going to be. That's so fun. Oh my gosh. So for these, you just drop them into the tub and you just let them do their thing. They have a lot of nourishing oils in them and they help moisturize your skin. The lime and the ginger. Ooh. It smells like a mojito to me or like a Moscow mule. Oh, I really like that. So I can kind of see there's like a little bit of a hole here on one side. Yes, there's like a coating on it and it looks like it's really pink. So I bet you this is going to make your bath really pink. Oh, I can't stop smelling that. It smells so good. I really like that. The ginger makes it kind of spicy, so it's still like on theme. Oh, look at that. It's still sparkly. So it's still kind of on theme with the Christmas scents, but it's still got that sweetness to it, so it's just not like an overpowering of ginger. This one's really fun. It's called the Christmas Cracker. Now, this one kind of broke in my bag. It has... Oh, it's so cute. It's a pretty big bubble bar, actually. And snappy popping candy. Oh, <gasps> I wonder. Oh. <gasps> I think there's like popping candies in this to make the bath like super fizzy. Oh my god, I bet you the bubbles are so nice for this. I can't wait to use that. Oh my god, it's cute. So it's like a little Christmas cracker. And it's super citrusy. I really like it. I actually prefer like the lemon and lime scents to the orange scent. Ooh. It smells like Skittles actually. <laughs> Ooh, I really like that. It's really fun. It's so big. This one I'm probably gonna get like what? I'm going to try and get like seven or eight baths out of that. Get as many baths out of that can out of that. That's a big bubble bar. Again, that would be a super good gift because it's it's so big. And as long as the person that you're giving it to understands that they don't have to use the whole thing in one setting or setting in one bath, then they'll get a lot of use out of this. I am down to my very, very last Christmas product. I can link all of the, I'll actually, I'll put a, post a link down below to everything I talked about, but then I'll also post a link to the Lush website where you can see all of them, like all of the Christmas products, so you guys can have like a little look through and see anything that I missed that you might be interested in. But we're down to our final product, which is called Plum Snow, is another bubble bar. I actually like prefer the bubble bars almost to the bath bombs because I get more use out of them, and they do the same thing. They, they still add color to your water while also giving you the bubbles, so it's kind of like the best to, to, in both worlds, in my opinion. Ooh, I wasn't expecting it to smell like that. This one is interesting. What is in this? Definitely has plum and fruity tart fragrances. Maybe blackberry. Ooh, I really like that. If you like those, like, that really, like, berry scent, ooh, you'd really like this. It's so pretty, eh? I love how there's like the little snowflake in the middle. It's so well done. Oh, guys. I love that. That's a good one. I like that one. 
Good job, Blair. You did good. So that is the end of my little Christmas Lush haul. Boyfriend got me most of these and he did good, guys. He did real good. I just picked up a few that I knew would probably be gone really fast and I'm going to stash them away and save them until about December when I'm going to use them or end of November once, once it gets a little colder outside and it's actually, you know, nice to take a bath. Uh, hi guys, I just realized while I was editing this video that I actually don't have an outro, which I guess it got cut off or something. I'm not really sure what happened there, but um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up if you like Lush related videos. I'm sure there'll be quite a few on my channel. Let me know down in the comments out of all the Christmas stuff that Lush has this year what you're excited to try or any of the products that I talked about in this video. Let me know if you're excited to try any of them or which ones you think will be your favorite. Um, again, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I can't wait to have more videos up for you guys to watch and more skincare stuff because that's my favorite thing to talk about is skincare. Uh, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Everything's always linked down in the description bar. And again, thank you for everything and thank you for all the nice comments. It's been so fun doing this with, with you guys and going on this little journey with you. Um, and tell your friends about me. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.